So we're doing what, what 99% of hunters are not going to do. We entered into a draw system that we got to get lucky to get a chance to go to this property. We got drawn. We're going down. We have no chance to scout. We have to take time off of work, uh, time away from our families, and we're going to make the best of it going after uh, out to this property that we've never been to. It's 55,000 acres, huge property that it's technically public property. you got to get drawn for it. But this is stuff that people don't do because it's outside of their comfort zone. And this is what people need to do. And we literally can't do scouting because they don't allow it. Correct, yeah. So we're going to get there. We're going to go through our safety meeting and find out if, you know, what do we do if we found an unexploded bomb. Um, and then uh, tomorrow morning, 5.30, we're going to get after it. And maybe we'll get a deer, maybe we won't, but we're certainly going to give it a shot and have a good time. But it's not that the deer aren't like purposely captive. No, there's no, it's literally, we're going places that people are just aren't allowed to go. Like you're just not allowed to be in here. That's what I think is interesting to me is we're going to go into this property that you literally are not allowed to be in here. Like it's not legal for you to be here. Oh, we have permission, obviously. Yeah. I feel like we're in a ghost town. Where's the office? I guess it's right here? I think it was right one of those two buildings. Or is it back here? Hmm. I think I was turned around. This place is cool. It's a little creepy. Yeah. Like we're on a, a little bit of the, like the post-apocalypse. Walking Dead. Yeah. Oh, there's the office. I wonder what all these people are doing back here now. Like, what? Are, I wonder what they're. Like, what are these? What are in these buildings? This one is actually full casing. Yeah, that's this one. Don't touch that. I want to touch it though. Can I go over there before you touch it? No. Bomb number five. Or some sort of munition. I'm going to pick it up and toss it to Neil. We're playing hot potato. 
Disclaimer, we're not playing hot potato. Jake almost stepped on it coming through this creek bed. We've been walking this creek bed for a little ways. And Jake haven't looked down at what he thought was a rock. It's not a rock. You can't say bomb on a plane. sitting in like a little knob. I, you know, cover up pretty good. But I had to move under a tree because <laughs> I don't have rain gear and we were getting dumped on for a little while. But um, we're going to probably leave here in a couple hours, go back up north. But it's been a pretty cool hunt. I've seen a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of terrain that people don't get to, you know, walk around on and experience, even though it is public land. Um, it's pretty restricted because of, it was an old military testing site, but just out here enjoying it, haven't seen a lot of game, I think when we went through the gate last night, <clears throat> they said there was 84 hunters total, I think there's something like 70 units, I don't, I'm not sure on the number off my head, um, and there was only three deer harvested, we ended up, one of the deer harvested was harvested out of our unit, um, I'm not quite sure how big the units are. I think it depends on what unit you're in. Um, we're in a good size unit, but there's, I think there's only four of us in this unit. You have to hunt with a buddy. It was myself and Jake, and the father and son. And the son harvested a button buck. But besides that, he said there was only three, two little bucks and one doe harvested. And then we saw one deer yesterday. Um, but, it's been an overall good hunt. Really enjoying it. Mm -hmm.